What is up guys? My name is Nikki, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. We got a brand new product for y'all. I was at the store the other day and I saw it on the shelf, decided to pick it up and do a little unboxing first impressions for you. And I haven't taken a shower yet, so I'm going to go ahead and let Nikki from the past take over while I jump in the shower and get ready for the shave. I'll see y'all in just a minute. How's it going everybody? My name is Nikki from the past. I just got back from Target and while I was there I picked up a couple shave products from Bevel. I went in initially. I was only planning on buying this guy right here. That's going to be the pre-shave oil that they have. Never tried any type of pre-shave anything before and so in this video you're going to see my very first ever attempt at using it. Nice little review. And while I was in the store, I noticed this guy right here. The razor said it was on clearance. And I was like, how much off? And so I take a little bit of a closer peep and it says it's $24. Now this guy usually retails, at my store at least, for $49.99. 50 flat which I think is crazy because I could get a way better like way better razor for $50 especially if I spend an extra ten an extra sten an extra ten dollars I could get a Rockwell 6c which let's let's be honest with ourselves I probably should have just gone ahead and, and got a Rockwell but while I was there I was like 25 bucks let's see what's up and so I'm gonna be unboxing this guy for you now the box itself looks very uniform, it's very nice, nothing crazy going on. I hope I have this properly in frame. And on the back it actually has instructions, which I thought was pretty cool. <clears throat> Directions. Always hold the safety razor at about a 30 degree angle. Holding the logo on the head against your skin, tilt, holding the logo on your head the logo on your head. We're going to tattoo the, the bevel logos on our heads, folks. And that's how you start using it. If you don't have the tattoo, you're not allowed to use the razor. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Holding the logo on the head against your skin, tilt the handle until the blade just touches your skin. Be easy and let the weight of the razor do the work. Do not apply pressure. Keep your glides short and don't forget to always shave in the direction your hair is growing. They do not want you to shave against the grain, folks. That's illegal in this situation. No against the grain shaving. Now on this side, it says, put skin first. No, seriously. The bevel difference. Shaving should be simple and smooth. Our single blade safety razor shaves at skin level, helping to prevent nicks, tugs, and bumps by carefully removing hair from the skin surface instead of uprooting hair beneath it like many multi-blade razors can. And the best part? Our sleek brass weighted razor is easy to clean, comes with five complementary blades, and does away with the cheap feel and lifetime cost of disposable razors. So that's nice, I dig that. On the directions, they're teaching you to ride the cap. I think that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and break it open for you guys. I'm gonna try and keep it nice and in view as I open it. I'm trying to also not rip anything out. And so like it said, it comes with the razor and five blades. Ooh, the packaging is interesting. When you first open it up, it's all just kind of bunched up in there. And there's a little beat up piece of paper. What's the beat up piece of paper say? You can tell this thing's been folded for quite a while. Golly. This hasn't been unfolded since 2005. Yeah, all right, all right, you get a big old, oh wow, check this out. It comes with a little like grain map for you to, it's a, it's a do-it-yourself grain map. It's like a coloring book for kids when you go to a, um, when you go to a restaurant, except for we're adults now. Example, mustache and chin hair generally grows downward, and then it has a little picture of like <laughs> little hairs and stuff. I dig that actually. That's really cute. Let's see what we got. Your facial hair grows in different directions, so check each section. Left, right cheek, chin, and both sides of your neck. Glide a credit card. It has you talking about the card technique. Glide a credit card across each section. If you are lifting the hairs up, this is against the grain. Do not shave in this direction. In the opposite direction, you are smoothing the hairs down. This is with the grain. Always shave with the grain. As you find the grain in each section, draw arrows to use as a reference during your first few shaves. Okay, I just want to say, if you're like, 
just learning how to shave, that's actually, that's, that's fantastic and I really like that. But if you know what you're doing, you already got your, your hair mapped out, then you probably think that's very unnecessary. It t teaches you how to load the blade in on the very back, and then it gives you, let's see here, the prep, the brush, the move, the shake, the calm. It's like steps on how to shave. That's actually pretty cool. I dig that. You get a nice little shaving pamphlet. Free literature, my favorite kind. All right, now I know the part that all y'all want to see the most, the most important part is the razor itself. Now that's gonna come in some plastic. It's a little loose, so it's a good thing I'm holding it all, otherwise I could have fallen apart. All right, now first thing that you're gonna notice there's zero knurling on this whatsoever. It's very smooth, but it's also very long. And I really like the curvature of the head right there. That top cap curve looks clean to me. I want to compare it to my King C. Gillette and my Vanderhagen real quick. Boom, that's the King C. Gillette difference. Not a whole lot, just a little baby bit. The Vanderhagen. Teensy. And then it also comes with five complimentary bevel blades. And so I'm going to be shaving with the bevel blades. Check out that little bevel logo on top there. How close can I get? That looks real nice to me. Okay, so check this out. <laughs> if you guys have seen other people's videos of this, you probably already knew, but I didn't know this. The sides have zero overhang. And so when you unscrew it, like that, it just, it's completely like, it's in the, I don't know how to describe that. It's, it's in there. That's really cool. I dig that a lot. I'm going to load a blade in here real quick. And we're just going to see, we're going to open up from the five pack that is given to us. Um, I think there's more than five blades in here, guys. I don't know if you can see, but that looks like a 10 pack to me. Let me see if I'm smoking the devil's lettuce or if I'm... There's another one. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. There is absolutely more than five in here. I don't know if this was just for me or if this will happen for everybody, but you get... I believe these are ten blades instead of the five that were advertised. So I got doubled up. That's... I'm okay with that. Let me make sure that's what it says. Yep, one razor and five blades. And then on the box, nope, razor blades 10 count. On the box it says 10, so they just put the wrong box in here, which is fine by me. I get more blades for cheaper. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and load one up real quick, and let's see what this all looks like. <laughs> Gotta get taller. Drop that in there. The base. That down, and the handle, it all screws together, nice and smooth. Uh, the blade should be aligned perfectly right off the bat, but it doesn't seem to me like it is, unless I'm tripping. Here, hang on. Let me do some do -do 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 research. All right, there we go. Now, I don't know if you can see with the blade in there. Like I said, there's no knurling on the handle, and the handle is also very thin, actually. It's thinner than the King C. Gillette, and I believe it's thinner than the Vanderhagen as well. Oh yeah, it's certainly thinner, thinner than the Vanderhagen. It looks pretty, and we're just going to see how slippery it gets when it's time to shave with it. And so, that's the bevel for y'all. Oh, I didn't see you there. I didn't notice you were back already. But that is right, we got the bevel today. I know it's been around for quite some time, but I haven't seen any recent videos about the thing. Uh, half the like reviews and whatnot that I've seen about it are several years old. Ken Surfs, he has a couple of videos about it, but I, I, I don't know. I wanted to uh, do either A, my own version, or just an updated version of the bevel razor. And so, as you can tell, I'm loading up the brush for a nice little face lather. We're using Sterling Christmas Eve, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. 
And before we really get into it, I just want to mention something about the bevel that I have noticed that I'm not a huge fan of. Because there is no overhang and it's all one piece, you can't like easily adjust the blade if it's slightly off center. You gotta unscrew it and kind of like jostle it around. And so if you're a stickler about having an ultra straight blade up in there, like me, then that might be a downside for you. <laughs> Other than that, it's nice. There's no knurling, which is weird, but it's all right. And then you might have noticed I also got bevel pre-shave oil. I have never shaved with any type of pre-shave anything before. And so we're going to use this. What does it say? Massage a nickel sized amount into wet skin and hair. Let it slowly absorb for a few moments before applying bevel shave cream. All right, so. I'm going to wet the face, we're going to apply the pre-shave oil, and then we're going to go ahead and lather up with that beautiful Sterling Christmas Eve. Alright, my face is now wet, we're going to apply a nickel sized amount. I gotta estimate how much a nickel is in my palm. It has like a light lemony scent to it, there's a hair in my hand. There's like a nice light lemony scent to it. Three, four, five. Let's count it in even six drops of pre-shave oil. I don't know if I need more, I don't know if I need less, but we got oil. I believe that is thoroughly rubbed in. And now we are going to wait several moments before we apply our shaving cream as the instructions say. All right, it's been a couple moments. Let's go ahead and apply our soap and get lathering up. Little Geo Fat Boy neck swipe right there. <laughs> All right, and now let's get right into the shave, shall we? I believe that's a D slather. And now let's get our oh, razor under the water. All right, folks, first pass on the right side. Let's get to it. Alright, so far so good. Like I said, the blade alignment was a little annoying for me at first, but that was a solid first little swipe. Let's keep it going. I cannot feel the blade cutting the hairs, it's going right through them. However, there is a decent amount of feedback, which I personally enjoy. I dig the feedback. All right. I probably could have hydrated the lather a little bit more, but so far, so good. We're gonna go straight down the neckline. No pulling, no tugging so far, just nice and smooth. Oh, 
right after I said no pulling or tugging, but that was my fault. I was using not enough pressure. Boom. We're also cutting through approximately three and a half days of growth. So that's probably putting up a slight challenge for the razor. So far, very smooth shave. The only pulls and or tugs I've gotten have been my fault. This is definitely a mild razor, that is for sure. With proper blade alignment, I can, there's practically no blade feel. There is like a little baby bit if you're like me and you've never actually had an aggressive razor and so you don't know what proper blade feel feels like. <laughs> A very smooth first pass, very minimal nicks and or nicks, very, very minimal tugs and or pulls, anything of that sort. So that is a positive in my book. Let's go ahead and see. Yep, I went against the grain right here because my hair swirls a little and I could feel it pull and I did get two nicks. That technically user error, truly unfortunate. Three nicks right there going against the grain. So I guess be careful going against the grain. We're going to wash off our face. I'm going to do a quick little feel test. Those nicks are truly unfortunate. Ooh, that's actually almost baby smooth on my neck right here. My cheek feels nice. I got a little bit on this cheek to clean up. That's just unfortunate, but that is baby smooth, I tell you what. I'm actually going to hit that with my styptic pencil real quick, because that just will not stop. It's, it's weeping. Oh, I got another nick. This thing's nicking me. Okay, so the first two are against the grain. Damn, that stings. <laughs> and so I'd say it's pretty understandable for those nicks to happen. But what happened here? I'm going to let that sit on the neck for just several moments before I wash that off. Now that those have stopped... The nicks have not stopped nicking, however, I guess there's this one that's super gnarly. I must got myself real good. I'm going to go back over my spots up over here, because honestly, everywhere else is very smooth. That was a nice shave. I might go across the grain on the mustache and just clean up this little bit right here, but... That was really good, even compared to my King C. Gillette. Two passes from this bad boy will get you really smooth, I tell you what. All right, nice and cleaned up. When they said on the box, 
never shave against the green. I think they went specifically with this razor because dang. I can usually shave over that twirly spot, no problem. But there's a chance it was just strictly user error. I might have not had enough pressure. I might have done something weird. So I'm not just going to straight up blame the razor for something that could have been my fault. Okay, we got net. <laughs> Nick's on the chin, Nick on the, oh my gosh, on the jawline. We got a blood warning on this video, folks. Golly. Actually provided me with a closer shave than my King C. Delay. Especially with only one full pass. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like the weight of the razor. It doesn't slip around in my fingers like I thought it was going to while I was shaving. I had a solid grip on it the whole time. I do have a couple red spots on my face, but I'm pretty sure that I can just kind of blame that on the face lathers because like, I can feel it when I'm doing the circles. Like it's a little, it's a little rough, but we're gonna put on some aftershave balm. Nivea sensitive as always. The absolute final verdict. I'm sure you're wondering, what do I think of the Bevel Razor? For a beginner, I think that this is an absolutely fantastic product other than, other than, like I said, there's no overhang, which could be a positive, but if you're absolutely serious about your blade being perfectly straight, because there is some wiggle room, that will make it a little bit more difficult because you gotta just kinda jostle it around and play with it. You can't just adjust it with your fingers like, you normally could with a regular three-piece with overhang. However, like I said, for a beginner, I think this is a very nice product. If you already have several razors, you definitely do not need this in your arsenal. But it is a very close shave on the very first pass. It got rid of three days of growth like nothing. It just plowed right through. The only pulling or tugging I had was down here, and that was I didn't have any pressure on the hair. I'm sure I caught like the very end of one, and it just went boop, and so that, my fault. Can't say anything about that. So yeah, revised score, seven and a half. And so until the next video, I hope y'all have beautiful days, beautiful shaves. Stay happy, stay healthy, everybody. Peace out.